Good morning everybody, welcome to day nine. <coughs> oh my word, what's a wriggly puss? <laughs> Off camera, um, Pippin is doing his absolute best to be the cutest cat he possibly can be. I'm sorry about the flickering, we've got a light going, I think, and I, I can just see it. I'll just try to turn them off actually. That's better. I know you can't see quite as well, but I don't want to be triggering anybody that might find that difficult. Right. Here's the bride. Excuse me. Can't believe it's double figures tomorrow already. My word. Ooh. Oh, me love, me love, me love. Oh, yum. An orange one and a minty green one, I think. They're beautiful. And I've got a, ooh, a strawberry cream quality street. And a pink bubble. <laughs> Gorgeous, thank you, Paula. And because it's a Saturday, I get to open my second Saturday of the month Advent presses. And I've got a box like this. And then this one, which is a very intriguing shape. Let's open this one first. <laughs> oh. oh, she's so sweet. Oh, look. What's in here? It's a seed ball. <laughs> Many seed balls, actually. Look at those. They look like mini truffles. I won't try to eat them, though. <laughs> That's gorgeous, Paula. Thank you. Right, I'm going to have to put her somewhere safe for after Christmas. And then there's this one, this rectangular box. Ah. Oh, how sweet. These three little plant pots, tiny dinky monkey ones. Oh, they're lovely. So we've got a wavy pattern one. I won't get them all out, but there is a picture on the side of the box. <laughs> That's something lovely to look forward to in the new year. That's lovely. Thank you, Paula. I adore it. Oh. Right, let's do the Venus. Find out. Should we find out what's in here, Pips? Yeah. <gasps> oh! No charm for a minute. Oh, we've got a wreath. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet little penguins. <laughs> I love them so much. <laughs> Can't wait 
wait to put those in. You know that's going in my Christmas quilt, don't you? And finally, Rachel's. And today on the tag we've got Christmas trees and strings of fairy lights. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. And I know exactly what I'm going to do with that. That's some really nice sort of rich lime green yarn wound so beautifully. And I'm going to put that in my... Um, I've saved... I went through all my minis and I sorted a massive bag out for charity because it was just stuff that I wasn't going to use. And I saved anything that really appealed to me. And when I looked at it, surprise, surprise, it was all the rainbow coloured yarns that I saved. So I decided there and then that what I was going to do is make a... <laughs> make a rainbow blanket. I don't know whether it'll be a granny stripe or something different, but I'm going to make magic knot balls of all the different colours and then just work my way through them. I think that will look really nice and that will go in with it. So that's lovely. And I've got a green tea with mint, which I've never had before, actually. Oh, and I've got a frosty the snowman chucky. <laughs> that's lovely. I shall go and enjoy those and sit and I think I'm going to crochet on my shawl a little bit this morning. That's lovely. Thank you, everybody.
Good evening, everybody. Oh, my word. I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> it's been a busy old day. I spent all morning ironing, and then, as you will have seen, we went to um, Haddon Christmas Market in the afternoon, which was lovely. And I thought I'd just pop on quickly to show you uh, the various bits and bobs that I gathered. I did buy some Christmas presents as well, but I'm not sharing those ob for obvious reasons. Um, actually, this was a little present from my mummy. It's a nice handmade ceramic ornament. And I just really like that. Ooh, I'm sorry. Ha! And this is another handmade ornament, which is going to go on the um, Woodland Princess tree in a minute. And I just thought that was absolutely gorgeous. I love that glass. And again, this is handmade. This is a Raku bowl made by a local potter. Look at the colours in this. This is a treat for me. I think it'll be perfect for keeping progress keepers in. <laughs> I just love all those colours so much. And then I got these candles. Not quite four candles, actually eight candles, but four pairs of candles. And they are for my lovely little um, candle ring, which came from a shop that was in Bakewell years ago called Chalet. And while we were at the market today, we found this lovely shop, this lovely market stall, um, which had lots of lovely things, very similar to this. And I said, oh, mum, this just reminds me of that lovely shop Chalet. And then the lady said, that's because it is that lovely shop Chalet. And she showed, I looked up and saw the um, logo and discovered that although the physical shop closed, she's still online and she still does markets and things. So I was able to buy from her some of the dinky candles to go in my candle ring because these were the only ones I'd got and I had been saving them so that I could um, burn it near Christmas. But tonight we were able to light them because I managed to get some more. So I'm really excited that I can use it now. And mum bought this for me years and years ago when I visited a dinky dot, a really dinky dot. So I'm thrilled to bits to be able to use it again. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Pippin. Oh, it's a big stretch. Anyway, I'm very tired now. <gasps> excuse me, as if to demonstrate. So I'm going to put this on my tree, find somewhere lovely to put this. And then I'm going to make myself a nice hot drink and go and have a bath and an early night. So thank you very much for joining me today and I will see you for more hijinks tomorrow.